welcome back children i hope you all have understood the poster writing now na next writing section is our paragraph writing so all of you open your grammar books all of you open page number 172 paragraph writing chapter 26 yes children children a paragraph is a group of sentences that expresses a common belief or an idea there are four essential elements of writing a paragraph first of all children first element is that the topic sentence expresses the controlling idea of the paragraph in order to write a good topic sentence think about the theme and all the points you want to make second is that organize the supporting sentences in your own way in a order it should be logical in order of importance a well organized paragraph is followed by a reader easily proper order helps the reader to grasp the meaning and avoid confusion so a well organized paragraph is followed by the reader third is the reader would be able to understand it easily it should be in simple words sentences within a paragraph need to connect to each other and work together as a whole third the reader would be able to understand it easily whereas the fourth one means completeness that a paragraph is well developed and end in the proper manner if all the sentences clearly and sufficiently supports the main idea to the theme then your paragraph is complete the concluding sentence of the paragraph should summarize your main idea by reinforcing your topic children today we will do two paragraphs first one a street quarrel and the second is god help those who help themselves children the tips for writing effective paragraph first start writing a paragraph with a topic sentence that states the main idea catches the reader's interest set up the tone of for the rest of the paragraphs develop the paragraph organize the information use simple language and easy understood words do not use complex words children that are difficult to understand okay so what are the tips for writing paragraph effective paragraph start writing paragraph with a topic sentence states the main idea catches the reader's interest okay give supportive ideas use reasons examples and names of develop idea by giving details and explanation all the sentences in the paragraph must support topic sentences develop the idea coherently all together all the information of the paragraph should be well organized logical ordered and easy to follow use simple language and easy understood words to make the paragraph writing now children we will read a street quarrel yesterday there was a serious quarrel between two men in a street a young boy abhay thrashed another boy rajan rajan met his father and told him that he has been abused and beaten by abhay his father could not endure it and came out of in the street he mercilessly thrashed abhay the child shouted and called his father what happened now both fathers quarreled each other fight each other his father also came out in the street when he saw his son lying on the ground he lost his temper and attacked rajan's father they started fighting and abuse each other's family members at last some wise people of the street intervened and requested them to retain their calm and to stop the quarrel 
Both of them went into their houses with their family. I was astonished to see this quarrel. The people who live together fight like enemies and abuse one another. In the presence of the children and ladies. Now these, they will never talk again. I learned an important lesson that we must never lose our temper. What happened children in this paragraph? Both parents used to fight because of their children. His father slapped him and the fighting of the parents began. So, it's important that we must never lose our temper. You should remember through this street quarrel paragraph. Next paragraph is God help those who help themselves children. It's a slogan that if we help ourselves then God will help us. It is a basic fact that Almighty, Almighty is God children. Help those who help themselves. If one wishes to see God blessing, one should take initiatives into the world of action. Does, God does not help those who sit idle and shrink their responsibilities and work. Some people are lazy and believe in destiny. They think that destiny or fate cannot be changed. Some people cannot qualify or pass any examination. Even they pray to God from morning till evening. It is true that one should have faith in Almighty and should tell the beads of rosary. But we should also remember that Hard work has no substitute. God intends people to work hard and achieve success in life. He does not help ledardic people. Ledardic is lazy people. Therefore, we should help ourselves if we wish God to help us. So, it's told that God used to help who help themselves. That it's a blessing from God. It's the God nature. That we should do our work ourselves. Then only the God will help us. If we don't study at all. We don't do hard work. Then God will help us. He will tell us that we will be get past like that. No. If we do hard work. If we study hard. Then God will help us. And we will attain a position in class. We will get good marks in class. Yes or not? Yes? So it's a basic fact that God will help us when we help ourselves. We have to be very hard worker. We should always remember that hard work always pays. God only help those who do hard work and achieve success in life. God is not with the lazy people around. We should help ourselves. If we wish, we God should help us. If we work hard, if we study hard, we will get a success accordingly. Yes? So, this completes our paragraph writing, children. Both paragraphs you have to write in your class to copy. A street quarrel and God help those who help themselves. Clear, everyone? There is... Holiday also, you can complete your work. Two paragraphs. And children, remember, these paragraphs will come in your term one. So, start learning also. Clear? So important points which you have to keep in the mind. Remember that while writing paragraph writing. Okay? The tips which is very effective to write paragraphs. Children, it should be in paragraph style. We should use simple language and easy understandable tone. Yes, ideas we should correlate. All the information of the paragraph should be well organized. Sentences in the paragraph must support the topic which we are using. See the topic above and then compile all each and everything. You can give supportive ideas also. Examples even to create detailed explanation of the heading, the title. 
आई थिंक इट्स क्लियर नाउ ऑल ऑफ यू कंप्लीट योर क्लास ऑफ वर्क एंड आस्क मी वॉट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू आस्क इन योर क्वेरी टाइम प्रोवाइडेड टू यू थैंक यू चिल्ड्रेन हैव अ नाइस डे